how can you create a conversion for Google Ads and how can you get that conversion label and add it to one of your events on WordPress or WooCommerce so that event becomes a conversion and Google starts to treat it as a conversion. So once you have this, Google will report that event as a conversion inside your Google Ads reports and uh, will be able to optimize ads delivery for that particular kind of action. Basically, if you have WooCommerce, you want a purchase to be a conversion. So I want to show you how you can do this with Pixel Your Site. This is Pixel Your Site, our plugin. I already have the Google Ads tag or destination installed here. I made another video explaining how you can get your ID, this thing that I'm showing you right now. And here I have the WooCommerce settings page. If you use Easy Digital Downloads, we have a similar page for that plugin as well. And you can also do the same thing for other events. I will show you after I explain the WooCommerce part. So here there are um, recommended events, purchase, and uh, this is the field for conversion label. I only have one Google Ads ID on this website, but if you use uh, Pixel Site Professional and our Super Pack add-on, you can have multiple destinations. So uh, it's possible to have multiple uh, fields for conversions. Make sure you select the correct one. And uh, all I need right now is the conversion label. How can I get it? Go to your um, ad manager, click on goals, conversions, summary, new conversion. If you already have some conversions, you will see them listed there. I don't have for this tag. Select website, domain, scan. Skip to add conversion manually. Now, in my case, this is a purchase. So I will select purchase. Conversion name. Give it a name that makes sense and uh, it will be easy to remember what the conversion does. Uh, for WooCommerce, we dynamically track the orders value as the orders uh, event value. So use different values for each conversion is the option to have, meaning that Google will know the exact value of uh, transactions and will report it with your ads. Now you can um, select every because Pixel SA Professional makes sure that the event is fired only once, so we don't fire the same event multiple times for the same order. But you can also select one. It doesn't make a, a big difference in this case. And I would suggest to keep the recommended and default options. Click Done. Agree and Continue. Now. What you need right now is this part. This is the conversion label. So this is the uh, destination ID that I already show you on the website. It's installed there and I need to copy this. But in order to copy, you need to download, open, and uh, depending on your uh, setup, open and copy. Go back to Pixel Your Site, WooCommerce, add the conversion label, and uh, save. So this is the process. Now you know how to create a conversion, how to get the label. Another thing, when creating uh, conversions, you have this option somewhere here, done. Enhance conversions. Make sure it's on. It will be on by default. With Pixel Your Site, enhanced conversions are easy to configure. Inside the plugin, on the main page, make sure this is on. 
and uh, once those two things are enabled Google will receive the data and we will send uh, the tag with this enhanced conversion start on for forms for other events you might need some extra settings because you can uh, create a conversion for another event not only for um, WooCommerce purchases you can do it for other um, WooCommerce events like add to cart if you want an add to cart to count as a conversion I don't recommend it but some user some some of our clients uh, prefer this kind of setup or for uh, other events not all events support conversion labels so this one does the checkout page so uh, configuring conversions based on other WooCommerce events is possible if you want to track something else you can create a custom event from here events page uh, we have various triggers I will create an event for a form a contact form 7 it's a very popular plugin uh, we have a direct integration you can use other triggers various uh, possibilities and uh, I will want that all my forms on the website to uh, fire this event and uh, send it to Google tags I can send this event to all my tags which uh, in this case are a Google Analytics property and a Google uh, ads the one that I'm uh, using for the video okay all because I want Google Analytics to to measure this event as well and because I've selected all tags including a conversion as tag I have this conversion label field I can go back to um, my Google Ads account and create a new conversion for this particular event because I want to simplify the video I will use the same conversion label I don't really recommend it but uh, it's it's better for um, the video ideally you should have a different conversion with a different name and uh, so on so let's say uh, test 7 okay and save this is it now testing your, your conversions is easy go to tagassistant.google.com add your domain I already have my domain here because uh, I tested this website previously open and now you need to perform the desired action the action that will fire this event that has the conversion label in my case I can place an order on the website and I will have the purchase event fired as a conversion or I can uh, send one of the contact forms seven forms on the website because they also will trigger an event with a conversion label uh, let's do the form thing send the form and when I send the form I will have my custom event fired and uh, right here I have it for Google Analytics as well because if you remember I selected Google Analytics as a destination for the event as well and I have um, the Google as destination with the event fired and uh, enhance data uh, received this is the parameter that you want to have because Google was able to detect the data from the form and I have the right setup for uh, enhanced matching uh, on the website and for some reason Google reports to conversions I think this is a bug because we only fired the event once as you can see it here so uh, that's it we now have the confirmation that conversions are tracked by Google and uh, everything is fine one more thing I can show you for WooCommerce events you have the option to 
add the conversion label to the event itself or to fire a separate conversion with the convert with the main event so if you select this option the purchase event will fire as expected but without the conversion label and we will fire a, a new event called conversion that will have the conversion label uh, it's not very different the result will be the same i prefer to uh, add the conversion to the event itself but you can do uh, the other way as well so this is how you can get the conversion label from your google ads how you can configure a conversion and get the label and how you can transform any event uh, pixel your site fires into a conversion by adding the conversion label uh, as i shown you in the video i'm christian stoichesco from pixel your site like share and uh, subscribe to our channel